What's up guys, if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty new to credit or you're trying to figure out exactly how your score is calculated. Your credit score can be really important because lenders will look at your credit score and determine the percentage rate they can give you in loans and whether they can approve you for a loan at all. Basically, the higher your score, the less risky you appear to a lender. And the lower your score, the more risky you appear to a lender and they might not even allow you to get a loan. Starting with the least important factors and bringing our way to the most important factors, we're gonna start with new credit. When you apply for a new loan or a new credit card, lenders can look into your credit score and sometimes they call this a hard inquiry. When this happens, it sometimes can ding your score slightly, less than five points typically per hard inquiry. The reason for this is that it's a statistical fact that when you get new debt, you're more likely to fall behind on old debt. I don't want this to prevent you from getting loans or getting credit cards, but just make sure that you're reasonable with it and not overdoing too many. These types of dings will typically go away within three to six months with good payment history. The next level up is called your credit mix. This accounts for about 10% of your credit. This is your ability to handle debts on credit cards, student loans, a mortgage, a car. Credit cards favor a mix of installment loans, which are things like car loans, student loans, and mortgages, and revolving credit, which is your credit cards and lines of credit. Basically, if you can handle multiple debts, it looks better to lenders. Which brings me to my third one, which is the length of credit history, which is 15%. Basically, the older your average age of your credit is, the better. This is why a lot of people, when you first get into credit, will recommend getting three cards right off the back so that your oldest cards are all the same age. There's not much you can do for this one except for holding accounts for a long time. And the second biggest factor in your credit is your utilization, which accounts for about 30% of your credit, which is the total amount you buy compared to how much you have available to you. You want to keep your utilization under 30%, but under 10% is actually ideal. This utilization is calculated by your total debt compared to the total of all your cards available credit limits. But it's also ideal if you can keep all the cards under 10% as well. The largest factor when it comes to your credit though is your payment history. Basically make your payments on time. The best way to avoid missing a payment is just setting up the auto payment. Set it to charge the minimum due. That way if you don't have the money, you can at least pay the minimum due and you won't get hurt on your credit. So those are the factors that determine your credit score. Your credit score when used well can be an incredible asset to have. But make sure you're careful and don't get it in credit card debt. The interest rates on these cards can be somewhere between 18 and 32%. And if you have high balances, it's really hard to recover. But as long as you're smart and you spend less than you make, you should be okay. I hope you guys learned something today and if you did, please subscribe. I'm always talking business and finance.